<clears throat> All right, so what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. I'm excited today. I'm excited today to talk about a new squonker, Brian, the Vapor Chronicles, signature tips out of the UK, Dovpo. This is a big collaboration on a really, I don't want, look, spoiler alerts, I really like the Topside SQ. <laughs> So as we all know, Brian, the Vapor Chronicles, he released the top side, the original top side that I still to this day love the ever loving crap out of. He did the top side duel, which look, it's a dual version of the top. It's not my favorite, okay? It's not my favorite. A lot of people really seem to like it, but this, this monster right here has won me over in ways that no other squonker could. Awesome, awesome. It just hits really well. Signature tips, their SQ squonkers have always been real hard hitters. This is a constant contact, mechanical. It's solid silver contacts. It is a top side squonker, so it's gonna have a top fill right here and a 12 and a half mil square juice bottle on the inside. And let me tell you, as a dripper person, having a 12 mil squonker capacity is just, it's just one of my favorite things ever. One of the reasons I never really super fell in love with a lot of like tiny little squonkers, just the, just the liquid capacity. It's just like, oh, five mils. Okay, that, I mean, that's it's whatever, that's fine, that's good. But that 12 and a half mil capacity, ha. <sighs> It's, I love it. Now this thing is so well put together, so well machined, and so well thought out that it's really just a joyful thing to use. You can kind of see it has those ergonomic signature tips, sort of like hand grippy things right here. This is a fire it with your finger type of device, which I am a finger it Whoa, <laughs> nope. I am a fire it with your finger type of guy when I hold any mods, any mods. You want me to grab this Titan right here? Yeah, I'm gonna hit the button with my finger. I love it. It's just so conducive to the way that I like to vape, having the trigger right there and your squonk bottle is on the back, which I heard a lot of people at Vapor Expo UK kind of complaining about, but truly and honestly, this is still one-handed operation. You have it like this, you have your hand, your thumb right there. Your thumb is your new squonking tool. So let's pop these panels off and let's take a look at what's going on on the inside of this thing. These are just magnetic panels. There's multiple magnets, two, four, six, eight, 10, I think on each side there. And every panel just kind of snaps back on right into place with authority. Never any play up, down, side to side on any of these doors. But as you can see on this side, right along the bottle, there's just a big strip of stainless steel. And what this strip of stainless steel is here for is so that when you're squonking your bottle, it doesn't expand the bottle and pop off your door. And having something in place like that so that when you squeeze this, the door doesn't pop, brilliant. That's, that's innovation right there, my friends. That's innovation. Single 21700 on the inside and there's even, see this little dial right here? That's a mechanical lock. So you can just twist this and now suddenly you can't fire it at all. It's physically impossible to. I think that is so cool. Now your battery is in here pretty securely and you do have to set it in kind of straight. One thing that's gonna make your battery in and out much easier is to just pop off your atomizer, not completely, just give it like two or three spins and what that's gonna do is it's just gonna free that up. It's gonna, it's gonna release the battery a little bit. There's a contact on here. You can see, maybe you can see it when I screw this back down. Down. Maybe, no, not necessarily, but there's a spring-loaded sort of contact in there that moves with your RDA and it's gonna hold your battery in there. Now this has managed to fit every 21700 that I've put in here, but they all don't fit in there really, really perfectly. And just as an example, these purple like Samsung 21700s I have, they fit, I press the button and it'll fire, but it's not super snug in there and I get this. That's the battery sort of flopping back and forth a little bit. This only happens, that noise only happens if you're kind of shaking it back and forth, which there's no real reason to do. Some other, like the Golisi batteries I have, they'll fit in there and be much more snug and you don't get that sort of like a, uh, I don't know, battery rattle is what it is. Spin that atomizer off, the battery just drops out, very clean on the inside. And then you're gonna notice there's like a little tab right here. There's like a little lifty tab kind of thing right here. What's that for, you say? Or maybe you didn't say that, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. It's a top side, so you can just unscrew this right here and literally just 
pour your liquid in there. There's no need to be exact or precise or anything. You can hold your bottle above the opening and just and it will just go in and it's so one such a wonderful feeling filling up that bottle. But after you have your cap out, you flip up this little thing right here and you can pull the whole bottle completely out. The bottle has those metal bands on both sides to protect your doors from popping off. And this whole assembly up here is kind of fit together with Phillips head screws. So if you really wanted to take this all apart and really get in there and really clean it or do whatever, you, you definitely can, although there's no real need to. I've swapped out the liquid in this a few times and all it takes is a little rinse and like a little, you know, shake it up with water, rinse it back out. You're good to go. I personally didn't feel the need to remove all of these screws and take apart this like full crazy assembly. Just, there's no need to do that. And then you just have these really clean, nice internals, 3D printed sled, clearly marked positive and negative for your battery. So if we're gonna put this back together, just keep your tab facing on the outside. You can just slide the bottle back in, drop that battery back in. I'm gonna reattach my atomizer, plug your fill port again, throw your doors back on, and dude, you're good to go. Like I said, it, it hits great. It's a great vape. Signature mods, they're squonkers. As I've already said, I'm repeating myself now. They hit great. I'm gonna leave it there. It hits great. Truly really and honestly, top to bottom, fit and finish, beautiful. I love using it. I love holding it. I don't mind taking in and out the batteries. It's all a very nice experience. I certainly don't mind filling this squonker up. It's the easiest squonker to fill up just ever, period. Right there, hands down, that's it, topside wins. If I did have one gripe about this topside, and it's a very minor gripe, and the gripe isn't even exclusive to just this squonker, it's kind of a squonker gripe in general, but this particular bottle, because of its shape, it's square, and because of its capacity, it's 12 and a half mils, it's just a real tall, square bottle. So, when your liquid level starts getting down, you're not gonna be able to see this on camera, but looking right now, my liquid level is down real low here in this squonker, right? So I can either fill it up and just keep using it, or I can try to actually vape the last of the juice inside this bottle. And in order to do that, you do need to give it a real firm press. This liquid has a long way to travel to get to your atomizer, and I find myself sticking my thumb in there fairly excessively. like as basically as far as you possibly can. When your juice level is low in this bottle, it's just gonna take more and more effort to get it to your coils. Obviously, when it's full, no such issues exist. You just push and squonk and it's awesome. I've got this thing top right now with the dang RDA that I am. I mean, loving it. Previously, I had the coil turd and RDA for vaping on here. It was working awesomely as well. It's great, it's great. So let's get down to brass tacks here. Are you going to be needing your vape budget hands if you wanna check out this very, very slick and sexy Topside SQ? Ah, maybe a little bit. Now they're not exactly giving these away. This is a, this is a, this is a nicer sort of higher end product. I mean, signature tips have always been synonymous with very high quality, not necessarily like super, super hemo high end stuff, but still very, very nice quality and on their website it's about 128 US dollars I found it a few places on the internet including hit that juice which I believe is Mike vape site for about $150. Seems like the asking price for this is anywhere between 120 to 140 $150 which is yes definitely firmly in vape budget hands territory. Now, if we're gonna play the aliens game, which we've been playing for years now, but if we're gonna play the aliens game or the FDA game where they have come and taken everything I have and I have nothing left to vape with is the signature SQ top side, something I'm gonna seek out and buy right away. Maybe not right away because I'm gonna have to save a little bit of money, but yes, I will absolutely hands down unflinchingly buy this again without hesitation. I love mechs. I love mech squonkers. I love this mech squonker. 21700 mechanical squonker with a 12 and a half mil juice capacity on it. Signature tips, Brian, the Vapor Chronicles. I mean, 
Are you kidding me? It truly and honestly seems like a no-brainer to me. Even considering the price, this is just coming very, very highly, highly recommended from me, you guys. I've just been, I've just been so pleased and had such a good time with this. I think Signature Tips, I think Davpo, and I think Brian the Vapor Chronicles really, really killed it with this. I mean, really killed it with this. Yes! Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links are not allowed in the description. Thank you very much, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use your Google Foo, but thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And no matter what any crooked politician tells you, yes, absolutely, let's keep on vaping.